Hi everyone, Eric back again for Awana Games with Yvonne. Um, so school's coming up, it's end of, you know, school year just about, and it's really hot outside, I've noticed. So we're gonna do another inside game, um, and this is a simple one I'm sure most kids have played. I know we played it as kids. It is called Dots and Boxes. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get a piece of paper, uh, and draw a dot grid on it, sort of like this. Or you can print it. It doesn't have to be this big. It could be smaller, bigger if you really want to. That'd be a long game. And um, that's the first step. And the second step is you can play, I think, with any amount of people, can't you? Yeah. Usually it's two, but you can really play with any amount of people. And it helps if everyone has a different color, pencil, marker, crayon, whatever. And so the goal of the game is to make a box, and you got to finish the box and put, you know, usually a letter in it, like I'd put E. That's not going to work because Yvonne also starts with an E, so I'll put like ER, right? And the goal is to get the most boxes filled in. So what you do is you take turns, and we'll show this here in a bit, and you take turns drawing lines. So, you know, you'll draw a line connecting two dots. And then the next person goes drawing a line, sort of like that. And that's why it's going to be useful to have different colors. Now the goal is to make boxes, so... Obviously, this isn't a good move, because now Yvonne can finish the box, but once you finish a box, just to show you guys what happens. i got to turn it <laughs> Where to go? Oh, there it is. So there's Evie, right? And once you finish a box like that, you actually get to make another line. Like this. So then it would be my turn again. So what you can actually end up doing is, just start making some lines. Don't complete any boxes though, because I want to show something. <laughs> the heck? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there. So now what you can accidentally do, and it's a good strategy too, is you can actually end up with multiple boxes like this. Then you can finish one box, and because you get to go again, you can finish another box. Wow, I'm really doing bad. And that's the overall game, and then at the end you count the boxes to see who has the most boxes. Yes. Um, this grid might take a bit, usually you can do a smaller grid beforehand. Um, and I should also mention you can place a line anywhere on the thing. So, for example, you don't have to place it near the rest of the boxes. You could have something like this. Which would be kind of a slow game, but that's how it goes. And overall, that's the game, and I hope everyone has a good week till next Awana. Thanks. Oh, you should stop it.